नमस्कार वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस एजुकेशनल वीडियो एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो ऑफ एन आई ओ एस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू सब्जेक्ट ई वी एस द कोड नंबर फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट इज थ्री 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 एंड वी आर डूइंग लेसन नंबर थ्री नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज शोन ऑन द स्क्रीन इट इज degradation of natural environment we all have seen so many natural things like sun rain water all these things are natural which are now depleting this is video part 3 in the previous videos we have covered few part of this lesson in this video we are going to cover these objectives the first objective which is shown on the screen also it is we will discuss how mining and modern agriculture has adversely affected the environment so we will discuss this the next objective which we are going to discuss in this video is we will discuss the impact of industrialization on environment including its biotic and abiotic resources as we already have understood about the biotic and abiotic resources biotic resources are those resources which are living for example different organisms or wastes of organisms the next abiotic is which are non living things the third objective which we are going to discuss in this video is we will be able to list the local regional and global backlashes all these backlashes which are caused by environmental degradation so all these things we will discuss in this video please have a look at this image closely now you all have seen this image let us now discuss and understand that there are different things which we get after mining you know mining we dig out and take out things from the mines all those five images which you just have seen these are the items which we get from the mines and accordingly we get different kinds of things or you can say different resources all these images you already have seen these are the items which we receive which we get from the mines after mining like we make lots of things from gold so gold is received from those mines and coal collection we get coal from the mines then there are also some iron different kinds of metals we get from those mines and we make so many items from those metal items 
like AC, fridge, different electrical items, the washing machine which we have at our home, the mixer, the grinder, all these machines. In these machines we use metals and we get all these metals from where we get metals from these mines. And we have understood that our earth is full of metals and mineral resources. They are very important renewable, sorry, non-renewable resources. Non-renewable resources means they can be used only one time and once they are finished, we cannot get them from anywhere. Let me give you an example. Water. We know that water gets recycled. So if we, the water at our home is finished or at any place if it is finished, we can get water from the other source. But if we talk about mines and all the metals which we get from those mines and once all those mines have given us the metal because the coal and all those fossil fuels items which are under the earth they were formed after so many years they were there under pressure below the earth and after so many layers, after digging out all those layers, we get those things. And if one time they get finished, they get depleted, we will not be able to find another resource. So we can say that our earth has metals and mineral resources in good amount but it is non-renewable resources you can see the image on screen all these things are available in abundant but still we need to be careful in continuation of the previous slide Due to rapid industrialization, mining of various metals and minerals are being intensified. And that results as mainly four points. The first point is there is a loss of vegetation. The second result is there is depletion of minerals. The third result is there is a dumping of debris, all the waste material. And the fourth result is there is land subsidence which occurs due to industrialization and mining of various metals and minerals. Now the image which you can see on the screen is explaining the environmental degradation which occurs from mining. We are going to discuss all those points now. The first point is on the screen. It is explaining that there is a loss of vegetation. We know that vegetation and soil are removed by using heavy machinery to get access to mineral deposits because heavy machines are used to clear the big areas, the larger areas and because of this if all the vegetations 
all the plants all those greener greeneries are removed they are cleared so it leads to the loss of biodiversity of the area so this is the result of mining which is loss of vegetation so we need to be careful about the mining work this is the second point or you can say second result of the mining this is explaining that there is depletion of minerals we already have understood that earth is a rich deposit of metals and mineral resources and india has a large share of these resources and all these resources are non renewable resources that means they can be used only one time and once all these resources are finished we will not be able to get another resource of the same kind so that is why all these resources which are non renewable we need to understand and be careful the third point or you can say the third result of mining is that there is a dumping of debris as we already have understood that whenever we work in mines then extraction of minerals from earth it also produces a significant amount of debris or refuse or you say the waste material because in search of metal in search of ore we dig out so many coals or so many things from the mines and all these dug out waste material which is collected that is used for dumping them on another ground or you can say for adjustment of the land which is rough or which is not plain and also large scale logging is carried out to create a space for dumping because we have so many uh, we have collected the waste material in a large amount so to dump that waste material we need a large space and for that we cut so many trees so these waste dumps also become a source of soil erosion and later on it also contaminates the water bodies because the waste material it flows towards the water bodies the fourth result or you can say the fourth point which comes under the depletion of the result the degradation of environment from mine this is about land subsidence you know excessive mining especially the underground mining it leads to gradual sinking of the area and it may also cause land slides and the landscape the gap which occurs because of mining work so after some time that also sinks because that base has been removed that has been evacuated
And for this, we have to be careful. Unless care is taken, not only minerals will be depleted, but also large land areas, which otherwise could be used productively, is due to the dumping of mining wastes. So we have to be careful in using all those minerals. Let us see the image in a closer view. As you have seen this image, you must have understood the meaning that we have to be careful and if care is not taken, we can easily understand that not only minerals will be depleted but also our large land area will also be not used in a proper way. That is because of dumping of the mining waste. Let us have a closer view of this image. As you all have seen the image, we will discuss this image further. This is about the impact of industrialization on the environment. So all these points we will be discussing. Let us have a break here. Ka 
कभी पढ़े हम कहीं पढ़े वे विषय की लोच से युक्त हो कभी पढ़े हम कहीं पढ़े ये प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने का अब सर एक बार ही क्यों मिलता फिर फिर दुनिया में इसके केंद्र बात कोई मन we were discussing the impact of industrialization on the environment our environment can get impacted because of many reasons the four reasons which we had discussed in our previous slide we are going to discuss all those four points now to meet the growing requirement of the increasing human population there is a need for manufacture of essential goods in large scale and for this small factories to big industries all have come up for mass production of goods and we all know that because of all this mass production we need more industries whether they be they are small or big this slide explains that industrialization leads to environmental degradation like the following reasons the first point is that the natural resources which are used as raw material by the industries they are all depleting rapidly as time is passing by all those materials materials are all those things which we use like there are so many things which humans use so all those can be considered as natural resources so for the production of all those things all those resources many industries are getting established the second point is explaining that the industries generate a lot of toxic gases and the liquid effluent or you can say the liquid waste material which leads to environmental degradation let me explain you the meaning of toxic gases and the liquid effluent all those things which pollute the environment they come from industries and 
all those pollutants are not good for our health they are harmful which leads to environmental degradation this third point which you can see on the screen also is explaining that industries generate large amount of waste and all those waste materials they pile up in the environment and disposal of all those waste material not only needs land but it also pollutes the environment and it poses a hazard to human health because dumping that waste material to an another place also needs an environment also need a land fourth point explains that industries use up a lot of fossil fuels as a source of energy and accelerated consumption of fossil fuel is depleting their stock as they are limited and non renewable but burning of fossil fuel releases the carbon dioxide in the air and that carbon dioxide and all those gases they lead to global warming and all those machineries which we nowadays use they also in some way or the other leads to global warming global warming is because of more carbon dioxide in the air that is dangerous which is not good for our health in earlier time when there was less carbon dioxide in the air that time the environment was good temperature was not so high but nowadays as slowly slowly we are using more technology and more new things we are using so accordingly global is getting warm that leads to global warming this fifth point on the screen explains about the excessive nutrients particularly nitrate and phosphate in the water bodies so these two chemicals in short we will use them as n for nitrates and p for phosphates and these two nutrients in water they trigger the explosive growth of green algae which is called as eutrophication and that causes that green layer is formed on the top surface of the water bodies sometime it appears like bluish green and all this process of formation of these green algae is called as 
eutrophication. Because of this green algae, all the aquatic animals which live under water their life is in danger and it may kill aquatic life <coughs> now here we will understand the impact of modernized agriculture on environment it is important to achieve self sufficiency in food production however intensive agriculture may lead to serious damage to the environment some of these are like forests are cleared to grow crops Let us have a break here. प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने हम अपना दीपक स्वयं बने हम अपना रास्ता स्वयं चुने हम अपना जीवन ये प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने कभी पढ़े हम कहीं पढ़े वे विषय के लोच से युक्त हो कभी पढ़े हम कहीं पढ़े वे विषय के लोच से युक्त हो मित्र हम उठे और जागे ये प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने अब सर एक 
बार ही क्यों मिलता फिर फिर दुनिया में इसके केंद्र बात कोई मन we were discussing the impact of modernized agriculture on environment we talked about the importance of self sufficiency in food production and we also understood about the agriculture and because of intensive agriculture which leads to serious damage to the environment Now this point talks about the excessive irrigation and poor drainage causes of water logging and which leads to the killing of plants and the aquatic animals because of increased use of agrochemicals such as synthetic fertilizers cause serious environmental problems and all those unused fertilizers from crop lands are carried away by run off waters into lakes and rivers causing pollution and also that water logged sometime it may seep through soil and pollute the ground level water and that water which is underground which is expected to be clean can clear that gets polluted so that excessive irrigation and the poor drainage is harming here use of pesticides in our crops or in our agriculture work it not only kills pests but also it is beneficial but it also kills all the other beneficial organisms such as insects pollinators birds and helpers which helps in dispersal of seeds naturally as you must have seen a bee near flowers so it helps as a pollinator and also some birds they help our environment to be green so all those pollination occurs because of birds and honey bees all those insects and all those birds and small animals because they pollinate they help in pollination so that is why they are known as pollinators 
and because of all these pesticides they also get affected let us now understand the non bio degradable word it means something which cannot be finished or which cannot expire or something which cannot be dissolved or in other words something which cannot be disappeared so all those resources or all those materials which are biodegradable means they can be finished they can be vanished they can be disappeared and non biodegradable means they will be there on earth always as in their form are like in pesticides like in uh, in different factories different pesticides are used and sometime all those pesticides are also non biodegradable and sometime somehow or the other when all those pesticides which are non biodegradable they are consumed by small animals or sometime the algae and all those small animals or plants are eaten by the fish and later on the human eat all those fish so this way that pesticides move to the human body or the animal body because that is my that is non biodegradable pesticides so that is why it doesn't get removed from our body it is stored in our body in that original form and it leads to bio magnification because of high yielding varieties of different kinds of food crops as we adopted the new ways of agriculture so all those traditional agricultural ways are replaced and now as we have new methods new methodologies all those new methodologies are based on multi cropping that is the growing of food crops fodder and firewood crops together so multi cropping has been adopted and that traditional agriculture methods has been replaced by the multi cropping methods and this practice is replaced by the monoculture monoculture is the growing of only one type of crop such crop use up only specific set of nutrients which needs to be replenished repeatedly for better health of soil the crops must be changed after a certain amount of time 
now here we are talking about urbanization which means permanent settlement of people in cities and it occurs because of all these factors the first reason is because of people who are in search of jobs they move towards cities because in villages they don't find jobs easily another reason second reason is population growth and the poverty in villages whenever village people they hear about the requirement of job then they move towards the cities and the third point is that industrialization has opened many job opportunities because in cities the traveling and all those things communication is easy traveling is easy improved transport and communication facilities are better in cities as compared to the villages so that is why urbanization is increasing and here in cities that cultivated land was lost forever for building houses for making industries for making roads and other facilities and also a water supply system had to be developed to provide water for drinking and other domestic uses so that is why growing urban population created increasing demand for potable water means water that can be carried from one place to the other in pots and as a result availability of water becomes more and more scarce as the population increases in the cities and because of growth of cities it leads to increasing demand of environmental resources which brings about the following changes so the cultivated land was lost forever because of building because of roads because of industries because of school or some other institutions this word environmental backlash means the depletion of resources of environment let us have a closer view of this image you all have seen this image now we will discuss and understand this further this is connected with the previous slide it talks about the local environmental backlash
Here, the salination of irrigated soil. You know, in several areas, over irrigation resulted in that salt accumulation in the soil as water is lost from evaporation but the salt which is dissolved in water it remains in the soil and that salt accumulates progressively and slowly slowly it makes the soil saline saline means salty and then if the soil is saline that is not fit for cultivation and then that salty soil is it becomes infertile that means now plants will not be able to grow in that soil so that is a backlash now this is another backlash this is the eutrophication eutrophication of a water body occurs when plant nutrients such as nitrates and phosphates are released by the action of aerobic bacteria on organic wastes when these organic wastes enter in a water bodies like river or lake or land then eutrophication occurs and these nutrients promote the growth of algae and these green algae they consume all the oxygen from the air and block the passage or the movement of air under the water which leads to the death of aquatic organisms because of lack of oxygen like if we are closed in a tight box in which there is no air how will we feel we will all suffocate so similar is the condition which occurs because of eutrophication the fish or the animals aquatic animals which are under water they are not able to get the right amount of oxygen so they die because of lack of oxygen these two nutrients which are no3 and po4 these two nutrients are important because when nutrients like no3 and po4 in fertilizers they are washed into water bodies then bacteria and algae they grow and increase in number and spreads and then it stops the supply of oxygen in the water and that whole process is known as eutrophication now this is the third point which is a local backlash this is about minamata disease this is an interesting case 
of Japan. In Japan, there was mercury poisoning and a disease which was named as Minamata disease. Because of factories making plastic, the caustic soda and the pesticides and all those releases affluents in the water bodies. And because of that release of affluent in the water bodies, there was a cycle. And if you talk about that cycle, that the affluent comes from factories into the water bodies and that water bodies has fishes. The fishes, all those fishes, they eat up all those affluents and later on all those fishes are eaten by the poor farmers. So in the tissues of the fish, mercury form some chemical which is named on the screen which is known as soluble monomonomethyl mercury. In chemical, the chemical formula of that is CH3HG+. And also another chemical which is volatile dimethyl 1 mercury. And all these chemicals, they cause damage to our nervous system. So the high concentration of mercury in water and in the tissue of fish, it resulted from the formation of soluble monomethyl 1 mercury and volatile dimethyl 1 mercury by the action of anaerobic bacteria. Fourth point is explaining about the extinction of wildlife species. As we know that the number of tigers and lions have dwindled so the great Indian bustard is also endangered and the list of animals and plants threatened to extinction is actually getting long and it is growing. And the main reason behind this is the environmental degradation. There is a river in Mumbai, it is named as Kalu River, that is severely polluted by industrial waste. And the Bombay duck, it was a favorite edible fish, which was once common in this river, has been lost forever. Bombay duck is also the fish name and that extincted because of the pollution of the water body. And all these wild animals, they are being killed for the entertainment purpose like sports and also by some poachers. So far, what we have learnt can be summarized in the form of what we have learnt. Till now, we have covered all these points. It talks about the impact of mining on the environment. It also talks about 
the impact of industrialization on the environment and also excessive irrigation and poor drainage causes water logging and kill plants. We also talked about the urbanization and understood the meaning that means permanent settlement of people in cities because of job people from villages moved towards cities and we also understood about the local environmental backlash. All these points we have understood in this video. Hope you all understood it well. Thank you. प्रकाशित करने राहों को आलोकित करने हम अपना दीपक 